What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ignanet and uh, I'm bringing you guys a little bit of a uh, different video today. Uh, some of you guys might be like wondering where's your live stream been, where's your daily videos been, like what have you been up to Ink? Why haven't you been uploading like you usually do, like every day or like one day break or whatever. And uh, let's just start first off, I was working on a montage and uh, I didn't really spend too much time on it, like I haven't spent like a lot, like a couple of months grinding for it, or, like ever since the game came out. Uh, but the two past weeks before I actually went, you know, unactive on YouTube, I was grinding my ass off because I tried to like hit an opener, hit a closer, hit a couple of bangers, you know, just clips in general and uh, that took up a lot of time and uh, I posted videos like every single day even though I was grinding. For, or I did live streams like even though I was grinding for clips uh, but the two past days like when I started going like unactive was mostly just because I was really grinding I, I never been grinding this hard I went on I hit a five like five one times one or like seven was, uh, it should have been a six on to be honest if it was possible it was like single single class class single whatever uh, the day after I hit a quad quad, one bullet quad, whatever, and uh, I was happy with that, I sent up clips to the editor, I got edited, it's amazing, I love how the editing worked out, I'll definitely link it in the description below. Um, but let's just start out why, why I went unactive. Um, I felt sick, it's, it's not like I got cancer or I got like a really serious, you know, disease. But I got really sick, you know, I had the infection and everything and that lasted for a little bit over a week. I've been like coughing, you know, throwing up, like seriously, and I've been having headaches, so I didn't have the energy to upload or do anything. Uh, but I did a live stream or two, just like get something up on the channel, because I knew that the montage would at least take one or two weeks to get together and get it up on the channel, so I actually had some content on the channel. Um, so I was sick for a week, and after that, I wouldn't say I fell into depression, really. I would say more that I got into that phase of, you know, my life where I start rethinking stuff and reconsidering stuff, you know. And, you know, it's not like, I would say that everybody goes through this. Once upon a life, you will be going through something where, like, is this worth doing? What am I doing? Why am I feeling all this? You know, you just ask yourself, and it's completely normal. Like everybody goes through it. You know, some people have it worse than others. I wouldn't say like I'm. I wouldn't say I'm a, a depressed person or anything, but I have my times where I don't really feel like I want to like. Not say I don't want to be in this world, but I rather just sleep. You know, I don't really like thinking about what's like going on. Uh, but anyway, like that, it's just been going through like just some personal stuff. You know, not only just thinking about stuff, but just you know. A couple of family members been you know they've been hit by something that I don't really want to talk about and stuff and you know I've been not like being the most you know people don't get along with me when I'm sad you know and that I pushes people away and that doesn't really help my situation or their situation so that's kind of I don't really want to talk about it because I feel like if I talk about something sad that will just wreak depression in other people like other people will get sad you know that's just how sadness and anger is it just spreads uh, so like, after I got through this phase, I was like, okay, well now I'm gonna start doing YouTube. I'm gonna start making videos. I'm gonna start getting underground again. I'm gonna be my old self again. What? Which I had the motivation to do, but I was thinking like, Call of Duty, is it worth playing? You know, it's my cream, but like it's just what I play. It's just what I do. I grind for clips every single day. You know, I enjoyed it. Like I've actually been enjoying it. But I've been seeing on YouTube that it doesn't do as well anymore, and I'm not like quitting it. I'm not quitting either, I'm not taking a break just because it's doing bad on YouTube, you know, I'm doing what I like to do, but I don't enjoy Call of Duty anymore. And that might just be because I've been grinding the game too much, but let's just talk about World War 2 to begin with. I feel I play the same maps over and over again. When I play with friends, Arden Forest, always Arden Forest, this, this is the only map we play, you know. I was hoping the DLC would be something special, I was hoping that that would save the game and bring the game back so people will start grinding it more, people will be more excited for hitting clips, like there will be more clips to hit, there will be more locations to hit the clips and so on, spots and so on, which it didn't really bring out, like I barely seen bangers on the new maps, I would say I, I've, I've seen bangers but not as much as I hoped for and I haven't like seen like any proper montage on the DLC like Black Ops 3 you know and so on, which is sad, like it doesn't feel right and it just doesn't feel like a cool game. And I feel like, you know, now that Michael Condry and this other, you know, other guy left uh, Sledgehammer. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Personally, I don't like Michael Condry. He feels like an arrogant person. Like, 
he doesn't give players the benefit of the doubt. And I feel like that Sledgehammer really don't like snipers. They don't like people who go for clips. And that's kind of sad because like, I wouldn't say Sniper is a built up card, but they definitely did some work for card to actually get where it is. Like Tryhards did the same thing. So they should let, you know, Gills 50-50. As long as the Sami players, they need to get their stuff as well. But when they're nerfing the Snipers over and over again, and the thing I believe people think is that they can just pick up a Sniper rifle and do well. You can do that if you play Gist of Cannon. Like, it's the same as playing Bagum on Warfare Master. It doesn't take much skill to get kills on a big map when you have a Sniper, right? But they never nerfed the Shotgun or the Sturm Gewehr, you know, the new AR, which kind of feels really weird. Like, why wouldn't they nerf this, which is clearly overpowered, but they nerfed the Snipers, you know? And I don't feel like Call of Duty is in a good place right now. And you might be like, why don't you go back to like Modern Warfare from Remastered and so on. I played those games, you know, I reached max prestige, I have over 20 days to play in the game. I really don't want to go back to the game. Just basically because, I don't know, I don't feel it's that much impressive to hit clips on it anymore. I hit quad headshots, I hit five ones, I hit, I hit, you know, I hit most of the clips that you can hit in the game. And I don't feel like going multi-card is the way to go. Like, I'd rather push the new card into a good light than either, like, playing all Call of Duties. Which, you know, it, it makes weird, but I'm just gonna say this straight out, and I'm gonna be focusing a lot more on playing Fortnite. Actually games that I enjoy, and that I'm not get pissed off, and the community, not the community, but the developer actually don't fuck you up, or like fuck you over. Uh, so I think Fortnite is the way to go for me, at least for a couple of weeks now, I'm taking a break from COD, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I don't feel COD is a good game anymore. I was really hoping World War 3 would be good. I'm actually positive about Black Ops 4 if that's the new game that Trout makes, you know, because they actually make good games and they made a good amount of good, like, Call of Duty games up in the years, like Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. Black Ops 2 was a good game. I didn't enjoy it because I don't like jetpacks, but I can definitely say it was a good game. Even I didn't enjoy it, right? Because they listen to the community, which Sledgehammer don't do. I hope, like, my honest opinion is that I hope Sledgehammer never make a Call of Duty game again. Never. I hope they get dropped. You know, I don't, I don't like, like, no hate or anything, but I don't want to spend 50 bucks on a game that they make. But I know this is what we end up with, a disappointment. That's what the game is, World War Disappointment. It doesn't feel like a cool game. It feels half done. It doesn't feel polished enough to actually be a $50 worth game and $80 if you're buying the season pass. It doesn't feel like it's worth it because the game is not polished and it doesn't feel like a finished game. I, and I don't want to go back to Multicon. I really just don't. I, I'm so sick of seeing Black Ops 2 clips on YouTube. I'm so sick of seeing one more Master clips. Uh, so yeah, as I said, like I'm going to Fortnite for now. I'm going to be grinding that game. I'm going to try and become the best possible player that I can become. I'm not trying to become the world best player, but I want to improve. I want to be good at the game, you know. I want to be good for myself so I can entertain new people. I don't want to be like Ninja, you know. I don't want to beat him. Like I don't want to compete with him. If I could, I would, you know. That'd be fun, but I'm not saying that as a goal, I'm just setting it as a goal to become a good player in Fortnite, have fun in Fortnite, be knowledge about the game, have intelligence about the game, have fun with it, you know. And uh, I think from now on I'm going to be posting Fortnite, maybe some other games, some personal videos, I kind of want to get like, I don't, I don't want to say my personal life into YouTube, but you know, just facts, like I can do a Q&A, what's your favorite game? Well, I can answer that, where are you from? You know, I can answer that, you know, I can make different videos, I don't only need to make gaming videos. But we definitely have some gaming content related in the videos, like we have like Fortnite in the background while I do the Q&A, for example. And I want to focus more on design. I've been really enjoying making banners, that's something that I've really been enjoying doing. So I think like banners, like not banners, but like Photoshop design and so on, and Fortnite is the way for me to go, and personal videos. I think that could be a lot of fun, and I think you guys could uh, have something to look forward every day. I don't know if I'm going to be uploading every single day, just because how my life is right now. Like, I'm not saying that my life is trash, but I'm saying I, I have big days where I'm busy, where I don't have stuff to do, or where I have stuff to do, I mean. Uh, like today, I'm not, I don't have that much time to actually be playing, because I have like, it's Sunday, you know, it's it's the beginning, or the end of the week, you know, I want to get ready for next week, but I, like, you know, I live alone, or I live with my girlfriend, right? And that's a lot of responsibilities, you know, cleaning the house, making food, everything, and that takes up time. Uh, I don't really have a job, because uh, like Norway's economy right now is not bad, but it just work, like generally, it's, I had to work, like I have, I, I don't know what you call it, a license as a carpenter, I am licensed to build a house, which I need that in Norway, and I have a proper education, but it's really hard finding a job, which, you know, I ha I, I'm like, economy-wise, I'm good, but I want something to do, I don't want to sit here and play games every single day, 
but I also want to play games in your day. Like, it just seems weird, but as I said, like, I'm going to focus on Fortnite, I'm going to focus on personal videos, I'm going to focus on other games that, you know, could make fun, like Friday the 13th, maybe, Prop Hunt or Gmod, uh, just stuff, you know, just more stuff, and I, I will probably be going back to COD if they get their stuff together and they release some, like, good maps and they fix the sniping properly, like, it, I don't want to make sniping all powered, but I would definitely make more balanced, because it doesn't feel balanced right now, like, they nerfed the car, which is the only sniper I could, like, compete in close range with a guy that actually had a red gun. But yeah, Fortnite and personal videos and just other small games here and there and Q and A's and so on. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, I'll link the montage that I released in the description. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm certainly looking at this day as a bright day and a good beginning to the day. Making a video, gonna make breakfast after this and then uh, get busy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a wonderful day as I said. And uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe as it really, really helps me out. And it just makes me more motivated and it's definitely coming a more info video up this week. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. Take care.